Hello everyone and welcome to Plus Equal. Today I'll be teaching you about input in C Sharp. So whenever you press a key in your keyboard, you'll get feedback. This is one of the most fundamental things uh, in any game, right? So we'll be doing that now. Let's let me open this here. I will create another script for input input tutorial. Now I will open up this. Now we have uh, different ways to get feedback uh, from the keys, from the input. We will talk about three in this tutorial. We will talk about get key, get key down, and get key up. So we exclude the start method and we go to update. You can even delete this if you want. So in update, if you do the double slash, you can comment. We want something like get key. Uh, that means when a key is being held down, then we want get key down. When a key is pressed down, this means that is the the moment when you press the key, and like the key down, we have the get key up. That is when you when releasing the key. So basically if we were going to to explain the process of pressing a key, actually this get key down happens first. Then you have the get key when you held the key down and the moment that you left the key, you get key up will be activated. So if you want you could rename this to here because this happens first. Then usually it's the get key and get key up. So it would be something like this. In order to pass feedback into the console, we will need a if statement. So we get if input dot get key down, just like we have here. You have here in favorites get key down. And now if you put again parentheses you can get key code key code dot and now you have all the keys of your keyboard and even some joystick options you have a lot of options here uh, we can put something like w very common to move forward for example and now we open brackets and inside we can debug dot log like we did in hello world but this time we can write something like, actually you can just uh, put something like W was pressed. Because this is the moment when a key is pressed down and we can test if this is working. Let's save this, get back to Unity. We can put this to some object here. Let's put it into the cube, don't really matter. Let's play. Sorry, let me take maximize. Now let's play. So we can see in the console here. So I will press W. And W was pressed. And you see that this only happened once. If Even if I press down the key, like I am doing, this just happened once when I press the key down. If this is not appearing here by default, it's because we have this checked out. Uh, press it again. So when it's highlighted, it will appear this this information as well. It, it, because it's not errors, it's uh, just information that we are debugging on the console for certain behaviors. Let's try it out with another key. If uh, pressing a key down works. So if, same process, input, but this time only get key. You can see here that we already have get key down, get key, get key up, get key. Key code, you need always to use key code. Let's put this time D. Let's open brackets. Debug.log. Please don't copy this from the other the other part of the code above. You need to exp to get some experience writing it this down. D is being held down. Okay. Let's save this. 
Oh, sorry. We need another parenthesis here. Let's go to Unity. Let's press play. And now if I hit uh, W, W was pressed, and I hold down D, you can see that this is being refreshed. We already have 800, 900. What you can do is press collapse, and the, uh, the same information will give you a count here. Now we need to press again uh, the game, and press D again, and that keeps incrementing. And if I press W at the same time, you can see that it is going up the number as well. And now we just need to do it for the get key up, that is when you release the key. Get key up. Key code. Dot. That we can use W again as well. And let's say W is not being pressed anymore. Control S to save. Back to Unity. Let's play. If we hit the, the information is being updated, constantly updating. We have almost 500. If I press W, I, I'm pressing the key. Now if I leave the key, one, two, three, and it's working. W is not being pressed anymore. That's right. So if I press left, press left, press left, you, you will always, for each key, you will have the same number because you always need to press and leave the key. So we can see that this is working very well. And that's the fundamental for, for this video. This is the, one of the most basic aspects of the user input. I hope you guys make good use of this information for your games. Thank you a lot for watching and for all your support. And I will see you next time. Thank you a lot for watching.